Hello, my name is Olivia Deventi with Market Education for Gimbal Office, and in this module, we're going to identify how to set some personal preferences in Worksheet. These preferences also could be value, valued in Imagine, Giza, or Cap Designer. So first, when I think of preferences uh, for 2020 Worksheet, I think of perhaps how my worksheet set up, and that'll be a later module. However, we want to go to Help, drop down, excuse me, wrong menu. We want to go to Tools, drop down preferences. When we select preferences, you're going to see a series of icons on the left. Um, you'll notice the menu change on the right hand side as we make those selections. So auto save for worksheet, it might be good to make that 10 or 15 minutes as opposed to 15, just in case you do encounter an error. So auto save under general could be very important. Next, under validation, put a check mark there. I say this because, do you notice on the left hand side how some of my numbers are in red with an asterisk as opposed to blue? When you see a blue indicator, that means an item's optioned out, so you'll also see a check mark. The reason that we have the red there is because that's validating that something is not right with that item. Um, pricing basically. Um, by flagging possible problems. So under validation, I'm going to go to a section called display. Under invalid field, I marked it red and simply use your drop down to select red or your personal favorite color. Now you'll notice that my numbers change to red, which is a visual cue. Now granted the paint palette does work, but sometimes the paint palette doesn't look quite as important as it should. So um, that's why I choose to also take this additional step. You'll see that under display you have the ability to create a different font. So based on your marketing preferences individually as a dealership, you might choose to make that change uh, as well as the size of your text. Um, also a section that I really like is called content. Now under content I can go in and change the differences in my catalogs. So for example, notice that I have Kimball Office first, then National. You could highlight National and choose the arrow here on the right to move National to the top of the list. I'm going to keep Kimball Office. Notice with Kimball Office highlighted, you see a series of Kimball Office catalogs here at the bottom. I would suggest that you highlight your catalog and move that up and down as well just in terms of priority. What products do you specify most often? Keep in mind you do have to make the selections individually. So for Excite I'm going to move it one, two, three times to place it underneath footprint. Also think about um, your file folders. Do you know what your default settings are? You might find that when you save items it defaults to a cap folder. When I think of local projects, which is the item highlighted at the top, I tend to think of projects that are on my personal laptop. So with that in mind, I would want to select the Browse button and choose that folder. So now when I go into Project Files, I can go into that location where I keep specific um, projects on hand. Now if you have a network setting, also select the Browse folder to go to that network setting on your drive. So with that, this area can get a little dangerous, but if you stick to just making the changes that are isolated uh, to specific instances where you need customization, you should be good. With that, uh, we're going to close out of this section, apply and OK. Any changes you make, you're going to have to restart uh, the program 2020 worksheet to make sure they have taken. If you have any questions on how to do customized settings and preferences or want to explore preferences further as a Kimball Office dealer, please feel, re feel free to reach out to Olivia, A-L-I-B-I-A dot Deventi, D-E-V-E-N-T-E at Kimball.com, K-I-M-B-A-L-L. -L. Have a great day.